one. Yes, it worked. Hello, I'm Patrick Patrick, and I love X-Wing AMG's X-Wing. <laughs> and I'm Padre, and I hate X-Wing 2.999999. Okay, like, hate's a pretty strong word. Loathe, despise, <laughs> you know, whatever. I have a strong opinion. Okay. Yeah, loathe, despise, hate, burn it. All right, everybody, don't. Up, yeah, don't. Kill it. <laughs> kill it if you have to. Don't panic. Uh, we're still going to be doing X-Wing content. Like, I mean, we are right now. Um, so don't think that Padre's just quitting X-Wing. That's not happening. No, and, and we still will play X-Wing while posting videos about it because you guys want it. Exactly. Uh, so the only difference is Robert might need a little help with some of his lists uh, with submissions and choice of scenarios. As you know, Robert did not take kindly to most of the changes. Changes suck. <laughs> okay, that's, that's one way to put it. How about that? Patrick, on the other hand, couldn't be happier. And although I just like list building, can't fly anything that I like and am too damn confused by all the new rules, I will fly a list if you send it in. Yeah, so you guys watching, go ahead. Email us at reconpaintgaming at gmail.com and you can then let Robert test out a list, fly it on stream. Uh, I will fly against him, and I will crush it like a fly without wings. <laughs> <sighs> of course you will. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are we covering today, Patrick? List building! Great! That's the highest thing that I ever wanted to do. I'm going to file that up there like I would want to treat anal warts with, I don't know, a very sharp stick. <laughs> well... I, I think it's great that you are here because I want you to share your experience with your list building experience, basically. And I'm going to share my list building experience. Why? I mean, I know why, but why even include me here? Because you, among other players, had this effect of, you know, everything we're about to cover today. So... I wanted you here to discuss your experience as well as mine. It's it's, it's simple. You you know, yeah. I'm the light, you're the dark. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah, that was your experience. It was it was Did you elaborate fun. maybe a it little was, bit. Uh, uh, a negative I can't even say it was a negative play experience because it was it wasn't even a play experience. It was uh, hard for me to figure out. It, it it I would want to do this with a ship that I can't even use in standard because you know, but I can do it in extended. But <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And then when I wanted to use what I wanted to use, no, 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 no. You can't have that. You no. Oh hey, you're a bomber. Yes. Oh yeah, you can't take bombs. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. my favorite part is when bombers in the name of the thing and it can't take bombs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so way to go, AMG. I'm sure you play tested this a lot. Not oh, yeah. at all. <laughs> well, I mean, so your K-Wings like, aren't in standard. Uh, they can't take barrage rockets except for one ship. And one they, ship. Get, they get how many points? Seven? Whopping seven points? <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's a joke. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not even funny. It's, it's, it's like, I want my money back. If you're not going to let me use my ships, and you're not going to put them into the game, Send me my money back. In oh, fact, <laughs> I, I might as well sell off almost everything that I own because I think there's two ships that I can have now. It's true. Uh, well, you did also mention, like, you don't like taking multiple named pilots. You like taking generics with limited... Taking generics. Love generics. But yeah. Damn. you. So, so I could take a, a named pilot, say, for five points and have all of this crap to put on it that yep. I don't want and that I don't ever <laughs> use. Or I could take a generic for five points and not be able to take anything. Only Robert would say, I don't want upgrades. I want, I want to limit my upgrades. Um, What's wrong with simple? Well, so There's you like nothing. to keep things simple, though. Yes, because I don't... I, I, I despise the handshake list to an unbelievable um, hatred I, 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 because <laughs> my mind doesn't work that way. Mm. And I would, I would say that I am a negative play experience for other pilots. Yeah. Because uh, 
like I'll take you for example. You thrive on the handshake list, and and yes. and I'm envious of your ability to use them. I really am. <laughs> but now you're going to play against you know simple Sam, and it's like it's not fun for you because I'm not doing the same thing back to you. I like and that it's name. Like, simple Sam's good. It's it, it's almost you know oh here's my auto win you know and it's <laughs> like it doesn't even it, it becomes a negative play experience for me because. I'm not bringing anything to the table that's making you happy either. True. Um, so, I mean, you do like the simple things. And, of course, there is room for the complicated in moderation, as you say. But you like Hotak. You like playing it, running it. Uh, but that's not restricted to time limits. There is a round time limit. It has a large group association, so everyone's kind of like pitching in. You're only flying maybe one to two ships. And we even develop our own scenarios and rules. Uh, but those are set up beforehand. We also practice it a lot before we start streaming. Um, so it, it's a little too new, I think, for you to enjoy right away. And it seems, uh, I don't know, a little unfinished as of right now. Uh, like, you know, AMG changing the rules a week after giving us the new rules. Um, yeah, which... <laughs> Oh my god, that was such a joke. Yeah, uh, <laughs> as you like to joke as a tech person, eh, we'll fix it in production. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't don't worry about that. Uh, you know, we'll we'll take care of that uh, later. Yeah, you fix yeah. it in production, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know. And there's nothing better than, you know, being, you know, a test bed. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so you're not a fan of the change uh it was a week ago or two weeks ago with uh the new points uh i understand the need to errata something but that was pretty fast and loose with the changes so i mean we got them like three weeks ago and then a week to a week and a half later they're like oh by the way the scenarios don't work like that anymore here's n more new rules to how the action is supposed to work even though someone will say no that fixed it that that's good that's better it's like then why kind of why weren't they that way before you guys like tested it for six months sure right I, yeah exactly yeah i hate to be a negative nancy a simple sam or a negative nancy i don't True. want to be either i like simple sam that's good but i am much more prone to quit a match sooner than normal i noticed um that also seems to be a frequent topic as of late on the forums people are starting to think that if they're too far behind on points, they can't make a comeback, and they just, they're like, I'm done. I don't have to play anymore. You, yeah. <laughs> Dude, how, uh, how can anyone tell? We made so many, oh my god, we made so many errors. We can't even call it a legitimate game. No, no wonder people are calling it a turn four. But I mean, when you realize mm. that your opponent has, you know, 11 points at turn three, and you have three. Yeah. You're not coming back from the abyss. <laughs> You're done. Yeah. Uh, so and, and and then I'm going to say to my 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 uh opponent, "Hey, good game." Yeah. So why there, waste time when I can go grab a beer and a pretzel true. at a tournament? I mean, but there's an instance with when I was playing Chuck this weekend and he thought the scenario we were playing which was a salvage mission, he goes, "Oh, they're half points." But he didn't say that out loud. And all of a sudden, he could have ran with his Obi-Wan or Anakin, I can't remember, uh, for the last two turns. Because that's basically, if he would have just held on to his points, he would have won. Because uh, the the time would have ended, he would have won by points. And then also, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to keep up. And he then engaged because he thought he could half points my Ray, And I was like, no, no, you can't half points those ships. It's either all or nothing. And he goes, oh, then I wouldn't have done that then. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. And then that put me ahead on points and I won. Yeah. Not to mention, <laughs> yeah. uh, we, we, we also forgot about the self bumping role, <laughs> rolling for playing order, forgetting the player order, forgetting to attack with ships and essentially how to X wing. I, uh, yes. Cause we we're very discombobulated <laughs> trying to think everything and do everything. It, it was a freaking nightmare. I, I'm True. sure you enjoyed the win. I, no, I didn't because I, I forgot so many of the things. I was like, oh, shoot. And you're like, what? I'm like, I self-bumped like six turns ago and I forgot about that. I was supposed to roll for damage 
And then, I, like, you, we forgot to attack with some ships. We forgot to move some ships because of road system. And, yeah, that's why I, I wanted to play at least 20 games before I went and talked to you guys, the, the, the viewers, about list building. Because what the heck would I even know about it if I haven't done it? Um, and then I wanted you to try and build a list because I knew K-Wings were kind of off the table now. Even if, you, even if there was a standard tournament, you wouldn't really take K-Wings. So I, It's not want can't <laughs> it's not for a lack of want <laughs> true can't all right no no I'm good. thank you for your money yeah thank you, you for your money it. i'll try to get that glad back. you spent that money with us we, we appreciate it but no you can't use that oh all right so we're gonna go well, what did i press that button for oh geez hold on a minute I, for, no, uh -oh. no you can't see it i can see it uh -oh. <laughs> so like, what, technologically, what the heck is that no wonder all we right. can't play x -Wing. no no oh so God. we so we have the ship documents up. Most of you guys know what this is. Um, it was put out by AMG. So you have the initial ship of, uh, or the initial cost of a ship, and then you have its loadout value, which is what you can put on the ship and how much you can take it for up to 20 points in total. The upgrade bar shows you what it can take, and each ship has almost different upgrades than the other. So... I mean, we. I even checked uh, in the forums again to see what people are talking about. And so the main question is, is it easier to build a list? To me? For, well, for you, yeah. Is it easier? No. Okay. No. <laughs> no. Okay, no, well, the eight-year-old no. eight would disagree with you because she can build a list just fine, Robert. <laughs> and great on her. Exactly. But, uh, <laughs> let's, let's face it. Um, the second... The second they took away our ability to actually look at our cards, figure out our points uh, in in 2.0, when yeah. they said, "Oh, we're going to have the adjustable points. We're going to and we're going to be right on top of it every three months. We're going to be adjusting points, and yeah, that I became know. six months, and then that became whatever, and then and now we have yeah Yasby yeah. and Launchbay, which amazing and, systems, but they're not and, made and, by AMG and or FFG. Let me explain something here. Launch Bay, Yasby, you guys are absolutely fantastic. You're yeah. fantastic. For Please go community. donate. You donate are to their cause. Absolutely. <laughs> you are good to the community. You are good for the game. You you take all the information and the 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 minutia and put it into a way that you can manipulate it into a list and, yeah. and without you i would be even in worse shape at, at which point i would not even attempt the game well so, so you thank you, you guys oh yeah thank you absolutely but you built a list and we'll cover that one later it's a b-wing list shocking i know um but well, you could take bombs exactly well you talk to me and you're like look i want generics i want bombs what the heck can i take and i was like i'll take a look <laughs> you came up with b-wings because they can now take bombs but you're like, yeah. why can't I, I equip, I tried to take the first order ones and I equipped a bomb, but I can't equip a second bomb. What the heck's happening? I'm like, well, because you took this bomb, it has this many loadout points. It right. had seven. You took a five point bomb. You have two points left. And the only bomb that's two points is the bomb lit generator. And you can't take that because, uh, no, I don't know. The math added up. Don't listen to my yeah. math now. But and, you couldn't and, take and, it and it was grayed out. And you're like, why can't I take it? I'm like, because you ran out of loadout points right. you can't take it anymore so that means i got to go to a named pilot who has an ability now i got to keep track of what his ability is <laughs> instead of just doing what i want to do with the ship oh yeah. no you can't do that that's just wrong nobody yep. plays that way hello yeah. i play that way i mean so this is you have taken everything <laughs> from me to you've do taken... what you want look what you've done to my boy okay so like... generics that are the same initiative as 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 the name pilots, but oh, you're only going to get be able to take yeah. two of these things, and it's like, yeah, but I have a whole. The card says I have all of these slots that I can fill. Oh no, you because you're limited on on these points. Exactly. Well, okay, so I get a twenty point list. Yes. Where is it? I'm trying to look for wanna, bombs in I, here. I'm, it's I'm coming gonna, up. I'm going to use five point pilots. Yes. So I get four ships. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And of those four ships, I can fit. Oh, only five points on this one, five points on that one, unless I go to this guy, but then I have to do this. And, yeah. and all of a sudden you have made my list. 
a piece of garbage because I can't do what I was used to doing. Now, I, yeah. was I you a world can't. class player beforehand? Well, no, nope. you can't. You couldn't list build like you used to. Which no, I can't. I can't at all. And that's that is the problem right now because for you generics you like flying multiple of those you like to just you know throw out some moderate upgrades because all that juggling of cards and nonsense is it's just not good for you and then all of a sudden it's like well so i can't list build like i want i don't want to fly four different ships with four different abilities i mean my advice would be we'll take the ones that have those abilities just don't use just don't don't use those abilities (laughs) just forget about them but then it's like then you're limiting yourself because then those and chips aren't being used properly and so I can build a nice four ship list. True. And we'll cover that. Meanwhile, one. I got to go up a guy <laughs> against a guy who has seven or eight. Mm. That's another question. So um, mm. but don't worry. We're going to go over everything. Uh, so for me, of course, Robert already said, I'm flexible with lists. Um, and there are very few ships I don't fly. I mean, the Kimogila, that's about it. That's the only ship I don't fly. <laughs> I don't laugh. I might pick it up one day now that it can. Take some you may upgrades. have to. I Maybe may have to. <laughs> most of the stuff that you like, and the only thing you can take is a chemo. Exactly. So yeah. Um, so here, have some chemotherapy. From my experience, this is this has been like the best list building experience ever. Uh, this is comboing. It's off the charts. And now that I'm not limited with upgrades like I was in second edition, oh my goodness, I'm able to take things that I've never been able to take and that I've wanted to for years. That people have said they're too expensive. You can't take those in second edition. They don't work. The points are just too much. And now, like, stupid things like Moff, uh, what the heck is his name, that lets you target lock, it, uh, or everyone gets a target lock, but, of course, you can't take the shuttle. But, I, like, I love cards like that. You you just, oh, but, of course, you can't take that. Uh, well, no, I can't take the shuttle, but I can take a decimator with him on it, and that thing's going to be target locking all over the place. Hey, um, can you put here on the ghost? <laughs> don't even get me started harris banned on the coast because of the dial changing which we said hey this card's probably going to be banned um what's what's just not, saying it just so, saying so why did i buy that ship if i wanted to use that ability? you can still fly the other pilots you just can't fly oh Hera. you just can't fly what you want <laughs> oh uh, moff tarkin that's the one i've always wanted to fly um because i loved that ability anyways whoo so the comment I did find was that a gentleman loved the new list building because an eight-year-old could now build a list successfully. So I, I think it really is simpler to technically build a list. But the question is, to what end? Uh, because just because you can throw a bunch of stuff together doesn't mean it's going to work or be good. And that's yeah. kind of Robert's problem is he doesn't know what's going to be good currently. And he likes to do bombers and he likes to, you know, have some either... Easy munitions, which you just take a focus and it lets you shoot instead of having to lock and then require the lock to shoot something. So so, so what AMG should have done is just make a whole bunch of quick build list cards. You know, like they have they those did before, right? They you have know, quick and, build lists. And you, and you get a pack of 60 of them. And <laughs> and, and, and what oh. happens is you, you, you get to, you and your opponent get to draw out of the deck what you're going to fly. So you just reminded me, because uh, a gentleman that, uh, I can't remember if he sponsors us or we sponsor him, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, yes. he, he makes quick build cards, uh, and his website is one of the best websites ever. Um, and I'm sorry, Jim Bob, I want to make sure that I get it correct. It is infinitearenas.com, and you can go to his website and make your own quick build. So Instead of having like 60 cards in the table, his is you can take the XWS from Yasby uh, Launch Bay, drag it into there, drop it, and it literally makes a picture, a single card with all your upgrades, all the text on it, and everything. And then you can just print that out in your home computer, uh, and you're done. You now have that to take with you instead of loading the table up with 600 upgrades. Um, oh my God, that picture you showed me. Well, so, the, okay, yeah, no, we're going to bring up that picture right now. Hold on. Oh. Oh my god <laughs> i think this is it no this is ship upgrades hold on let me bring up this photo real quick that i it sent was, robert it was a mess <laughs> oh it's in the slideshow i think it's my first picture hold on yeah, uh, yeah. let's go you guys are gonna love this shot. oh now the now this doesn't work hold on there we go of course it doesn't. Now, no it's not working i got it i got it i got okay. it okay okay so this is my friend <laughs> daniel's list i love him to death this was a quick list with his uh galactic republic there is 6, 10, 20 upgrades. 
This is what it looked like on the table. It took up half the, it took up two feet of the table. There are all my upgrades. And he had upgrades on top of upgrades. He had tokens everywhere. And like, it was crazy the amount of space that this took up. And he still, ha he could have still like equipped different stuff and more upgrades. And like, that's kind of what we're dealing with. But that's also what we're going to try to cover. It's like, I think people are just doing that because they can. They're not actually, and no offense to Daniel. Daniel, your list actually kicked my butt. So don't even think about it. But he forgot like half the upgrades during the match. He didn't know which ones were uh, there. And even, um, I think it was during Chuck's match. Didn't matter. Any match that I've ever played, everyone always has looked at their stuff and goes, oh, I could have used that. What? Mm -hmm. Elusive. I could have used Elusive that turn and I could have rerolled two dice on my defense. He could have lived. And it's like, Oh yeah, that was big because you had an, a, a token and you dropped it because it blew up. And then I got all the points for that. He goes, yep, oh well, moving on. Um, yeah, so. well that's because AMG has created <laughs> a monster. Yes. <laughs> has created a monster. All right, so yeah. let's go over some... Wing. Well, I want to go over some cards that are, like, I've noticed um, in... And let me bring up the slideshow. Where's, which one is this? I don't even know. I got so many things going right now. Ship upgrades? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So things that I've taken note of, like cards like Composure, uh, this thing's going to allow you to try and take an action like capturing an objective, failing it, and then taking a focus. So I think that's going to be a great card. It costs one point. You can slap it on there for, you know, your big ship that goes up the middle or a little ship that's just going around the board and you like, you screw up, you think it's range one, it's not, but you still get the focus. So, like, that that card stock went way up. Um, things that allow you to go, uh, basically, range 1 to 3 with abilities. Like, of course, Dutch. A lot of Rebels that allow this. But there are other cards out there that are going to be action efficient in this meta. Because, basically, when you're flying around trying to capture so many different objectives, you want space between your ships um i haven't ventured into flying like a four ship list like my four t70s and trying that route um but yeah things like this that can allow you to up your action economy for ships in the uh you know around the board is great because i flew a ray list with uh two a wings and like the the target locking and system that ray had individually was amazing but then what i forget what list i flew against chuck um, but basically, oh, it was my rebel list with Lando. I do. I took Lando with Ursa on uh, Nora, and then also I took a a U wing like uh, uh, the Cassian Andor with K two S O. So basically, just handing out calculate tokens, then allowing C three PO for re rolls on defense, passing off locks, then getting relocked. Like it was just action economy through the nose at a huge. Uh, range because it was two medium and a large base ship so, like these are cards that you're going to have to look out for and also use exactly like like that's what you want to do um another thing things that let you move through obstacles i mean i think that's going to be big i think you yeah. should you should take things like this robert <laughs> if there's anything that will let you fly through an obstacle or take a not a systems upgrade uh with a sensor upgrade now uh, that lets you fly through a debris or an obstacle uh, to get to either an objective or if you have an objective, get away from something real quick and not suffer the consequences of flying through a rock. Um, I think that's incredible. Uh, this card alone, <laughs> you want to talk about this one, Robert? Trajectory Simulator? <laughs> uh, trajectory Simulator and Bombardier. Yeah. Fantastic in, in a list. Uh, so I can use them on one ship pretty much yeah um and that's a b-wing which still hurts my brain a little bit so i go from a ship that has no red maneuvers on it whatsoever <laughs> to this highly maneuverable thing that does stuff and most of everything and it's it looks like a freaking christmas tree because of all of the red <laughs> on it uh you know uh but trajectory simulator 
I'm sure everybody is going to start screaming, oh, that's OP. you got to get rid of it. Yeah. Ban it, ban uh, it, ban I, I it, know it. And, I know and, it's and, coming. And, and you know what's going to happen? AMG is going to be like, oh, we got to ban this right now. Mm-hmm. And then it's going to be gone. And at which point, when they ban Trajectory Simulator, I'm selling all of it. Well, either that or they're going to make the points go up. Like, that's going to be the other sure. thing. Or they're so just going to be gonna... able to take Trajectory Simulator. Yeah. But you won't be able to take a bomb. No, or they'll they'll limit the points on the B wing, like stuff like that. Oh, all right, another upgrade, trick shot, and also the there's a, a, a Jedi one as well that lets you uh, spend a force to up your attack dice through rocks. I took right. trick shot. Uh, I have been using it so much more now. I like I used to take it in second edition, and you know once or twice something like that, but. Now it's almost every turn I got to trigger trick shot with Lando. Like, oh yeah. my god, and four dice fully modded. Like, I'll, I'll give you the extra green dice. I don't care because I'll just rip through it with four hits almost every time. Sure, because like, green dice never fail. <laughs> Not mine, green dice do absolutely they do. All right, Woo. Let's see. Oh yeah, more rules, more obstacles, more bumping, more shooting. Okay, we're oh, uh, we already did a scenarios episode where I covered all the scenarios. What you know. The rules for it, but now we're gonna go over each one, uh, really quick, cause uh, a lot of people online. Oh, hold on, let me go this way, cause I want to start with chance engagement. Okay, so a lot of people online are complaining about the scenarios. They're complaining about what their goal is, the people that they're playing against, and you know, basic overall strategy and stuff like that. Uh, and again, I think it's way too early to tell what lists are gonna be incredibly good and what is going to be the strategy for your list and other people's lists and I'm, such I'm like just going to put something in here right Please, now yes. and say something. Absolutely. The scenarios that they have created are not that robust. No. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. Um, they it's could have put salty. a little bit more thought into the scenarios and made them i don't know different uh i know i like you know, and, and different from one each other it's a good start though if you're gonna start a community that's but, never done scenarios like yeah start, start small it's it's a start though and yeah. that's the problem here's well from the i think they should have come out <laughs> yeah, honestly and i'm gonna say this and i can't believe i'm about to say this patrick yeah they should have come out with X-Wing 3.0. Oh, stop it. No, from the no, community's and, reaction, and, I'm glad that they did this because everyone's saying, I can't do these scenarios. They're, they're ridiculous. And it's like, yeah, but you okay, well, I'm, all these guys I'm glad they didn't do crazy. Want to go get the core set and get the rule book yeah. and all of that. And they can't. They have to buy the 2.0 set. Yes. And they bought this and they open it up and they, oh, this is going to be great. And they start playing it. And then somebody mm. says, oh, you're playing the wrong rules. I see. Well, I disagree there because I had this debate with Chuck. So when I bought Pokemon for my daughter, it comes in a board game. It actually is yeah. a board and I open it. It has three different rules in it. It has beginner rules, advanced rules, and then I got to go online to get the official rules. So <laughs> I, well, no, because in order to throw somebody into 2.5 or AMG's X Wing immediately, and say, okay, we've got six things on the table. You build your list over here. I'm going to build my list over here and let's go. And you're just like, okay, what are the rules? It's like, oh, well, you bumped your ship here. You got to roll now a die. Okay, let's roll some more dice here because we got to figure out who goes It'll first. Be in the rule book, though. And it, 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 the digital no, one, and, it is. <laughs> and, and, oh, okay. Now, wait a second. Does that mean every box now that they sell 2.0 corset says somewhere on the box or in the box or in the directions? You must go to the website yeah, and download the new rules. The the r- wrong website, yes, it does. It's, <laughs> it oh, tells you to go to FFG's website. But which, you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> all right, we're getting off topic, but I'm, I'm right. not getting off topic. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm what I'm saying is, you save guys, it for the end. <laughs> okay, fine. Right. We'll save it for the end. All right. So this is chance engagement. This one's super simple. There's an objective in the middle. Uh, you just have to be range zero to two of it to score a point as long as there are no other ships around you at the same, you know, there's no other enemy ships at range zero to two of that center piece. Super simple. And the rest of it is you just keep shooting and killing each other just like dog fighting. And of course, everyone currently that I've seen is making a mad dash for the center. 
yeah. then they're upset that they're losing in the joust because they don't have a jousting list because they didn't really build for that or they thought they could out joust their opponent and everyone's it's like rinse wash repeat it's the same thing i go to the middle i'm getting destroyed i'm going to the middle i'm getting destroyed what like i want a dog fight and yeah. it's like that this is dog so, fighting you know what'd be a great ship for chance engagement <laughs> what a k-wing ah uh, not now not anymore um, oh well, no 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 no! I, I'm saying if it was allowed <laughs> and you were able to actually put things on it, like I don't know, barrage rockets, you might have a chance. Yeah. Well, no. So my question is: Have people seriously tried their list and not gone in the middle? Try to do the slow approach. Yes, your opponent might score one to three points, but have you tried that? And if it fails, then you need no, to rework your list. Nobody has had enough time to do 20 hey, Well, that's years. another thing. Nobody's definitely had any amount of time to test any of this to the full extent that it needs to, to say, no, we can't do it with this way. Or they're taking a list that they have made in second edition and are trying to make it in this edition, and then they're like, it doesn't work. I'm like, well, of course it doesn't work. This, I I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. it's like trying to use a shovel to all of a sudden dig water it's it's not going to work you need something more efficient than a shovel yeah a bucket oh wait you can't have that <laughs> no you can have that you don't have enough points um, for the bucket and and, and and it's banned anyhow exactly so i the i know it's supposed to make you engage that's what it's there for but when making your list you know you don't have to joust in the middle it, it's it, it's not a must and I think people really need to test that out. And also, if this is one of the generic missions that everyone's going to have to be playing at a tournament, like either to start or this is going to be the primary one that everyone chooses, then yeah. you, you're going to have to well, work around and, that. You, and you have to think with chance engagement. Yeah. If, you, if you're fairly confident that your opponent is going to charge yeah. for the middle, okay, yep. that first turn, they're going to get a point. They could have four ships surrounding that objective. They get one point. point. That's it. You, on the other hand, come in from the flanks and start picking off his ships. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I, oh, hey, wait. Oh, and yeah, by the way, I'm within range two of it, too. So now you're not getting a point, neither am I. But I'm going to continue to pummel you. Exactly. So risk versus reward and everyone it keeps talking about work. how how badass their list is well go prove it <laughs> but yeah all right salvage um this is another one this, I, this is my favorite mission honestly because you get to basically shoot off the salvage of your opponent make them drop it you get to choose where it gets dropped and then you can go and pick it up with an action or your opponent can pick it back up and then the only way you can get the point is by having it on your ship um right but like things like marksmanship I want to say proton bombs because it does uh, technically yep. cause a crit. It, it, eh, let it the rules uh, Malice, same thing. There's the the where's the the droid? There's a droid in here somewhere that lets you score a crit um, and spend a charge. It gets three charges. It's like R seven or something. Um, so you can incorporate that into your list, and not just because malice. you know that you're yeah, not because you know that you're going to play salvage, but you might play salvage that day. And now you have the points to put it on your list because of the yep. upgrade slots and the points that you can spend on a ship. And it's only usually one to two points to take these upgrades, uh, except for Proton. That's like four. So yeah, yeah. that's these are things that you need to think of while you're building your list. It's like, well, I might have salvage today. I'm going to take like maybe one or two of my ships that can create crits so I but, can make my know, opponent drop them. Imagine salvage. With, yeah. Okay. The B wing. You. 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 You run to the middle. <laughs> Wait, who? The B wings or your opponent? No. No. Your <laughs> opponent runs to the middle. I take my B wing with my trajectory simulator and proton, and I launch proton bomb. Yes. Oops. Sorry well, on you. <laughs> as long as it doesn't have a shield. So I'm going to mention that it right. suffers a crit. So it needs to suffer the crit in order for that effect to happen. If Because, uh, again, my friend shot me and he goes, oh, you took a crit. I go, no, my shield took the crit. I did not. T I did not suffer a crit, sir. And yeah, that was me. <laughs> well, the same thing, I think, with um, what should we call it? Uh, concussion bombs i that might trigger it i would love it if it did i don't know the rules of this game though trust me right <laughs> i don't scramble you and everybody else exactly scramble the transmissions 
Um, this is the one that allows an action. And this one, you roll a die if there's an enemy marker on it. And you then take it over. If it's a focus, a hit, or a crit. I screwed up with Dan. We thought it was a hit and a crit. It was actually a focus as well. There's a 75% chance. If there's nothing on it, then you can just score through an action. Um, so with this one, this one, I think, uh, this one's a really good one too. So when you're building your list, you're going to have to think of this as well. So there's fast ships that you're going to want to take. There's ships with side arcs that you're going to want to take that can skirt the line, pick up the, you know, the satellite, and then keep moving and shooting. Not like, just a sitting there. Oh, like a K-Wing. Like a K-Wing. No, no, yeah. you can't though. Sorry. Baby Epic Baby Epic is predictable. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um ships that can move slow and then, you know, grab it and keep sitting on or not grab it, but do the action, take it over, and then sit there to make sure no one else takes it. And then there are, you know, geez, there's so much stuff. There's multiple ship arcs, you know, oh, yeah. ships that can fire out of the front of the back. So as you're passing it, you shoot and then you keep going around it and keep shooting. That way it stays in your control. And then of course Range weapons, like, you know, your munitions and stuff. If you want someone that, or if someone thinks they can sit on a, a obstacle or a, a token and score, well, suffer a proton. I know where you're going to go. So, it, yeah, I, there's no, these are things that you're going to have to think of when you're building your list. Right. You can't just take anything you want. But go ahead. So, so your list, when you're building your lists, you have to consider these four these these four scenarios that we're talking about here yeah and you're never going to have a perfect list that can do all four i th see that's the that's the thing i mean a perfect list that can do all four no but you're going to have to build something that is substantial enough you need in to all have something in the middle yeah. that will allow you to have a chance on all four exactly so Don't forget the last one. Oh, I know. Assault on the satellite array. This is the one to where you just have to be near them. And as long as yes. you're near it, you score a point as long as... Uh, well, not as long as. You basically have to have more ships in that area than your opponent at that point. So if you have one ship and they have zero, you score the point as long as you're range zero to one of that satellite. If you have two ships to their one, you still score one point. If you have three ships to their zero, you score only one point. You can't score more than right. that. However... Uh, there's nothing in here that says I can't score more than one with one ship. So if I have three in the middle like this, I can have my medium or large base ship in the middle outscore three small base ships that are range one of each of those and score three points in one turn. So that's why I, first thing I put for this one, large and medium base ships are going to yep. be really good. Um, it can capture multiple Maybe. tokens, covers a Maybe. wide area. Kind of like a K-Wing? Kind of like ship? a K-Wing. Um, okay. And then for you players that like a lot of ships, you got to have either I'm not multiple swarms. A have a swarm of, uh, you know, four ships, and that way you can outcapture certain things, or even have, yep. uh, uh, you know, like two ships and two ships together, and then one ship in the middle if you fly five ships and stuff like that. So you got to think of all these things when you're list building, because you can't just say, well, I have four ships loaded to the teeth, I'm going to do great. And then right. you'll be like, you know, a friend of mine who got very beat in one of the scenarios to where I was capturing satellites and he was trying to capture them with actions. And I was able to spread out my list, get those actions, capture them. And then he had to go around and capture them back because I was scoring four points a turn. And then all of a sudden he's not, his arcs aren't facing me. He's like, trying to shoot me but it's in a very awkward way he's out of position meanwhile my ships are just doo -doo 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 -doo. action oh i took it over he's rolling the dice and he isn't capturing it and then we played the chance encounter and he destroyed me just completely leveled me because my list wasn't hand wasn't able to handle a joust so i now have to go back and look at my list and go it's it does well here but it doesn't do well here i need to readjust it it's not it doesn't do what I need it to do when in chance encounter because we all know we're globbing towards the middle. I'm going to get wiped out. I, I'm not a good jouster. I'm not a good, like, straight up dogfight list. So, yeah. So that's what we got there. <laughs> yeah. So, so your list types are going to be either slow and tanky. You're going to sit on objectives and take shots. Yeah. 
you're going to be fast and defensive. You're going to control or take objectives, hold yeah. on to them, and then run. Yep, that's uh, now that is now a strategy. Yeah, run away, run away. Yep. Uh, you're going to need maybe to think about aces with a high attack power. Oh. You're going to focus on destroying the <laughs> opponent and limiting objective play. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to, you're going to have to have, uh, to think in this term too, take and hold. Separatists. Lists that don't move or can shift positions quickly. Yep. Um, you know, a, a, a B wing. <laughs> you know, very slow of, is, 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 is going to be slow and it's got a lot of really ingenious little uh you know Jeez. movement one uh, uh movements yeah slow you know slow one or uh one straight to victory or one forward yeah. to victory rebels that's how they do it <laughs> so so i got a question for you yes are 19 point lists an option Ooh, all right. I got this question earlier as well. Um, I hundred percent. I think they are. I, I see no reason why they wouldn't be. And this would technically fall under the you know aces with high attack power. Um, so I mean, people are already talking about. I want to take Vader, Sumtir, and uh, what? what uh, oh, what's the striker? Striker, 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 striker. It's the. <laughs> it's Bam! the it's the, the uh, not countdown, Duchess, or even countdown yeah. you could take. Um, and that comes up to 19 points. And it's like, do I run 19 points? And it's like, that's up to you. You're going to give your one point to your opponent at the start of the game. But then right. your objective is I'm going to maybe capture one or two objectives, hold on to them because aces can do that for an entire game because they're so right. hard to hit. Or uh, you, you shoot and you just miss. And then they're scoring two points a game. You're trying to score maybe three, but every time one of your ships captures something, it gets blown up because aces are able to do that very easily because of their modifications and their ability yep. to outmaneuver. And then it's like, I brought six ships. How can I lose to three? And it's like, because they've designed their list to do that. And even in uh, North Carolina for the tournament they have of 35 people, it's not solid data, but it's something um, to where an ace list did Trickle. very well. But yeah. it's way too early to tell if a 19-point list or even an ace list is going to be good in the long run because we really haven't figured out what's great yet in well, all and, of these and, scenarios. And, and let's look at that. We are really yeah. not going to know squat. <laughs> until maybe Adepticon. Until Adepticon. Oh, and then wa and, watch the people come out of the woodwork on and, that one. And maybe not even then until Gen Con, which is supposed to be a major tournament yes and now here here lies the question yeah if people are bitter if people are just <laughs> if like people are bitter i am not doing this right true and you know you got amg is like oh we're gonna have seats for 300 and you know 85 oh, guys goodness. show up you have a problem true um all right so i have oh how did that oh there we go guest interview okay so here's Yasby. I've got it up right now. We're just going to take you through. I want to cover your list last. because I think that's okay. going to be great. Um, so like this is an example of, oh no, not an 18 point list. This is an example of a 19 point list. But I mean, if that isn't your cup of tea, there are some really great initiative or some really great uh, ships out there. Like everyone's looking at Grand Inquisitor. That fills you out to 20. And Grand Inquisitor is a great ship. Um, the Gauntlet Fighter, unfortunately, is seven. I think they saw that coming. That's why. Um, there, <laughs> there, there's the Reaper, but I don't, I don't recommend that one. Um, and the Decimator's too many points to fit in here. So it, you are stuck with if you want to fly the Darth Vader soon to your list. But I mean, Grand Inquisitor is great. I think that fits in there. You get, look at this, 20, 34, uh, 61 points of upgrades that you can take. Yeah. <laughs> 61 points of upgrades is absolutely crazy. Um here, here's a, another list that I uh am looking at. Uh it did do well in one of the scenarios, but it doesn't do well in the uh change or chance engagement because my two weakest ships are the mining guild tie fighters. I like them right. because they can fly through rocks. 
and they can <laughs> capture objectives and they still get their actions. Uh, I just, I, I'm stuck in the place of, I don't like the pilots. I'm in Robert's camp. I don't like the pilots. Uh, the upgrades they get are okay. And Captain Seaver's four points. So that makes me at 21 if I put him in there. Uh, like, let's go back. So I, I'm now stuck at 21. So I now have to go look for a two-point ship, which leaves me with a Z-95, which I'm not willing to go. And it, actually, it's Nadru that you can take, <laughs> which... What's his ability? While he perform an attack, if there's no other ships at range 0 to 2, roll an additional attack die. Like, with zero points, it's not maneuverable. It's not fast. It's not a large medium medium-based ship. It can't really fire out of its arc. It gets no upgrades. So now, as a list builder, I have to think of something different. Because if I want Captain Seaver, I can't take Nidru. It's not going to do well because of my, the limit of that list. So I need to think of something different. Um, and I love Morallo. Because of the mere fact that she can fly off the board and come back on in another section and flank another ship that is either going for an objective or is on an objective, show up behind it. Um, this one, as you can see, I have the child on it. And everyone's like, whoa, what are you doing? No, don't, don't put the child on it. It's like, I don't care. If I can fly off the board and pop on behind you, I, go ahead, spend those locks. I'm not going to be here when you're using them. Um, and even then, I have false transponder codes, so the first one's not going to do anything. <laughs> We've got Peli, a shield upgrade, uh, and Cutthroat, because I, why not? I would love it if I can get false transponder codes back after you kill one of my ships. And then, uh, this is Robert's neck of the woods, Iman. Oh, Iman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Iman. I love you, Iman. If you don't know Iman, and I keep saying Iman, because this ship can drop a bomb with a three hard turn, a three straight, or the one straight out of its back. So, I mean, Blazer Bomb, of course. We've got Connor Nets, so everything can just sit there, or I can ionize you. It's got Unkar Plut, so even if we do Joust in the middle, I'm still going to get my action, so that can do something. Uh, and then the Andrasta title, which allows me to take the extra bomb and stuff like that. So, like, is this a good list? I don't think it is, but it has, it has potential. But I have to work with it. It's not a, a yeah. one and done. I don't just build a list and I'm like, that's it. All right. The other one that I've made, which is, this one is, this one is built off of an old list, by the by, because I used to take this in second edition, but good graces of AMG, they've given me a great gift, which is an extra ship. So we've got yeah, Ray. That's what you need. Yeah. Well, uh, Chuck, no, it wasn't Chuck. I think it was Dan that faced this one, and he for, he didn't know how Ray worked but with Finn and adding extra dice and spending it for the target lock. So this is this is jousting Ray. She's got patience, which I'm thinking about changing out. Um, heroic, which I think is absolutely ridiculous with Finn and uh, Ray's ability. So if you don't know that, Finn gets to add an extra die if you are in the front arc, uh, and you know the the mobile arc is facing forwards. So when you go to shoot me, it's one die. If I roll a blank, I get to put Finn's die down and look, oh, two blanks, heroic. I get to re-roll both on defense, and then hopefully <laughs> I can block your shot um, because stealth right. device, you can't take it. Um, it's got engine upgrade. I'm thinking about maybe swapping that out for shield upgrade. Um, and then Rose Tico, I can spend a die while attacking or defending to take a target lock. So right. an absolute jousting monster, is, which is especially great when in some of these objectives you are jousting. Uh, two loaded out A-wings at I-5, and then the fireball. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about this fireball, Robert. You like to slam. I like to slam. And I like taking over objectives. This little guy, I think, scored me four points. <laughs> he Before doubled his he points. No, he didn't die. He, they kept They kept chasing him. I, I'm like, I didn't have to slam, but I scored four points, and then I slammed and dropped the objective, and then I went and picked up a different one. So... No. <laughs> if there is a two point ship worth every bit of its points it's the fireball mm. yeah I love so, that little guy so do you want to look at the B-wing list oh yes alright you want to look at what? do I have any others oh yeah I do okay yeah that's the other list that Dan created and we'll go over that as well alright what was the question it was uh, do you give tips for lists as well a absolutely I don't know if they'll help but I'll give them um, yeah you, and and I will not. You have two YSs, one Hawk, one Fang, and one Mining Tie to work with, and I tried out upgrades 
Ion, they're makes sense to me only playing for a week. Oh, okay. So I'm okay. taking it you're playing scum. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, I you might have you know, the the core set does come with rebels. So um Oh, that one's a tough one with your ships there cuz you the the scums don't there's only one hawk that gets the title now. So I mean, I, our Chuck uh he hates it cuz he likes to take other ships that like the title. So only one yeah. of them gets to take the title, and that's a really good card to have, which uh, it's Paylob, which takes a, a focus from you, uh, or takes it from the opponent, rather. Um, that you've, yeah. And then with two Y-Wings, I see, I haven't taken the Y-Wings since they got rid of the gunner slot either, because I, with bo Bombardier was great on a Y-Wing, and now they've taken that away. Um, yeah. So that, yeah. Ugh. Reasons. Exactly, reasons. And then Ion, I don't like Ion turrets, only because they never work for me. I can take them in a in abundance, but now that they've limited generics as well, you have to take something uh, like a name pilot as well. And then if you're going to take a Fang Fighter, you got to take either um, Fen, uh, Fenrau or, I mean, I love, uh, not, oh, what is her name? I'm, I want to say Jody, and that's, I know that's not it. <laughs> It's not Jody. Uh, da, 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 da. Can, oh, Joy. That's what it is. It's Joy Ragoff. She's my favorite, but um, I wonder. Oh, how many points? Oh, see, now I'm going to list build while on stream, which is that's the cardinal sin. <laughs> You're not supposed it to list build while on stream. <laughs> You're supposed to have pre built lists uh, while before you stream. Okay, she gets like 11 points. So she can, yeah, she could take an Ion Torp. Oh, she can take a nice fat talent. And she can take a modification like Afterburners, which is my favorite. So, yeah, I like, I like Joey Rekoff. She's basically like Wedge. She can spend a charge to get rid of one of your defense dice. Um, I even got Skull Squadron. Ugh. As far as a, you know, if you were looking for a competitive list, I, you know, that's, that's a hard sell for what you've got. Um, there could be something there. I would suggest maybe going through the quick builds that come in the kit. Start with those, see what you can make, um, especially since, you know, quick builds have nice little uh, bars on them. So it, even though it says, you know, three bars, try to build something like that, work with your local players and see if they'll let you take it and see which upgrades and pilots you like. Um, and then, you know, slowly build out your expansion because, I, I mean. The uh, other thing I'm going to add. Yeah. If you like the ships and you enjoy flying the ships. And you don't mind getting your butt kicked. Fly the damn ships. Yeah. <laughs> Fly what you like. Oh, wait, you're not allowed to anymore. No, that's wrong. I shouldn't say that. But if you're comfortable with it and you like it and you see minor ways to tweak it to make it more your own or, or to adjust points that are going to fit and give you a little bit more firepower or lasting power, it's a good base. Yeah. You know, um, every person in the in the world started out in, in X-Wing. Oh, I want to yeah. fly this ship because it was the coolest <laughs> ship ever. And, oh, I love this ship. And, and you're flying all these ships that you really love, and none of them worked together well. Yeah, A-Wings. <laughs> <laughs> A-Wings were, were terrible. Oh, yeah. man, were they bad. So, you know, try it out. Uh, like I say, you're you're you are the perfect player for this version because you're coming in and just starting yeah, to play it. Exactly. So you know, we're we're old, we're decrepit. We we're, we're, <laughs> we've been playing this it's for... the way it is and we liked it. Oh and... man, I've been playing X Wing since two thousand fifteen. Yeah. So I I mean it's and oh, for geez. me I, as a, as an older person, I hate change. Yeah. Any and all change. Oh, wait, but I one. really despise this change. But I'm still going to try and work with it because I enjoy the community. I enjoy the people I go. play against. And, and you know, so not everybody wants to play Monopoly. Mm. But when you're at a party and, you know, three people do and you're the one person, you're not going to say, no, I'm not going to play the game. You're going to play it because True. you're enjoying the company. <laughs> All right. Let's cover your list, which you built a list and it was so everyone, this is why Padre doesn't build his own list. He built it oh, at 18. God. You built it at 18 points. It's 18. Po do you know why it's at 18 points, Patrick? Yes. Why? Because you didn't know that a Z95 Lieutenant Blount was two points. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> this is why he doesn't list build people <laughs> but 
This is like the official first list that Robert's ever built that isn't K-Wings. I'm looking now. Can I have him? Yeah. So you could fit Lieutenant Blount, which he's not a bad Z95. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I might have to add him to the list just so I don't lose two points. Yeah. Uh, to my... And this is... What kind of upgrades can, can a named pilot have? Zero um, point zero. zero. And, and, and zero. I oh, mean, that's yeah, great. the Tala and the Bandit, which are initiative one and two. Lieutenant Blount is initiative four. <laughs> yeah. So, so if I keep them tucked up with, a, with another ship within zero to one, I get to roll an, an additional ta attack die. Oh, wow. I, I would not let him pick up anything in salvage. I would just, you know, fly around the board and, like, take actions to put tokens on satellites, or I would just let him zone control, like, the closest one to my board edge, and <laughs> that's about it. Now, um, when I, when I, I, I am primarily a bomber type guy. Yes. Okay. So I'm looking through all of the factions of what, you know, who can have what and do whatever and all this kind of stuff. Okay. Yep. I, I'm like, B wings have bombs. Yeah. I was kind of surprised, so I gravitated towards there, and then I started to look. Okay, so like Braylon Stram. Okay, he's uh, an initiative five. I was able to get um, uh, thermal detonators, trajectory simulator, and uh, for his. Uh, his uh his elite pilot i you know i went with dead eye so yep. i figure hey i'm probably gonna get some guys and it's a b-wing yeah i'm probably gonna get some guys into my uh attack cart so i can change to crits now remember what we we're saying you want to yeah. try and push through crits that was why i wanted to do this into, into that way yep dead so eye then then it's like okay uh i got 18 points worth of <laughs> upgrades on him <laughs> And and then it's like, okay, who's next? And it's like, 10 numb, right? And I'm like, wait, he's an initiative five, but he gets 20 points for some reason. Okay. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to throw, you know, a little bit better on with his elite. I'm going to go with a crack shot, right? Yes. Because once again, it's in that, that, uh, that bullseye firing arc. Um, you know, I'm looking to neutralize some of your dice re uh, results. And I thought, okay, we'll go with him. And, of course, I did put on shield upgrades So on both of those. That was another thing that people were saying is, like, they're always finding room now with upgrades, and it's shield upgrade or hull upgrade or, you know, anything that's increasing their health. And they're not cheap. No, well, six and <laughs> – and that's the other thing. They're not price varying anymore. They are a set price. So shield upgrade is six, hull upgrade is four, no matter what you put it yeah. on. So they're now really here. They're, that's a great card to put on there. If you're not looking to confuse your list, you, all you'd right. have to do is just make sure you put an extra shield down at the start of the game, and there you go. <laughs> right. And now I had to go to you know Netrum Pollard. He's, he's who is he's, that? <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of him. After but, you, hey, he's a name. After pilot you barrel because... roll, you may choose one friendly ship that is not stressed to range zero to one. That ship gains a stress and then rotates one eight. Okay, so believe it or not, you've actually chosen a great ship that matches well with Braylon and 10 because they benefit from being stressed. Right. So, once again, I locked out, but I only get 11 points yep. instead of 18 and 20. So, no modification, no talent slot. So, it's just a heavy hitter. I've got bombs. Thermal detonators too, four each. Yeah. Oh, because man, that's so many bombs a turn. Um, and don't forget with a thermal detonator, you can do two. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I'm pretty I sure it works with trajectory. And I have a tra trajectory simulator. Life sucks. Uh, for, yeah, your opponent. And then you got okay. Gina. Again, same Gina. thing. She's She can transfer stress as well and help out Braylon and Tendum. Right. And, you know, once again, 11 points. Her Right. <laughs> now, I ended up with 18 points, and then you say, five. hey, throw Blonde down there. That gets me to 20, and he's a throwaway. But just for giggles, I want to look at something here. I yes. want to look at the B. I want to look at the B-Wing again. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it up here as you can see me looking down here. Oh, I'm, I'm all switched here. to you. There you go. You're looking down. <laughs> okay. And I'm looking at my thing right here. <laughs> You're looking down. I'm looking up. <laughs> right. So when I look at this, I have six points for a Blade Squadron veteran. Who is this? He is Ooh, an this? Initiative 5 pilot. Is? Oh. He only gets six. No. Blade Squadron is three initiative with uh, six upgrade points. He's five points. <laughs> He's five points and he gets six on his. Yeah. Okay. That's what I just said. Well, you said he was initiative five. Oh, pardon, initiative pardon, three. pardon me. I, I, I know. Slip of the tongue. It's my so. bad. Okay. So for six points. Oh, what? oh, wait, I can't put a bomb. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No well, bombs. Let, let, let's, let's see. Uh, what kind of cannon can I have for uh, six points? Uh, <laughs> Auto blasters, heavy laser cannon, tractor <laughs> beam, and an ion cannon. Yeah, I really don't want to go that route. Um, yeah. You can't oh, take wait, the title I have another either. Let, let's see. Uh, torpedo. What can I have? You can have ion torpedoes. Why the hell would I bring this piece of shit? Ah, whoa, whoa, with the S-bomb drop. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Blade. I can't edit that out. We're live. Oh, okay. Why would I bring this piece of excrement? Ex of of Bantha Poodoo. How about that? Let's yeah, keep it there. Okay. There's, there's no reason for me to bring that. There's no reason for me to bring... Lieutenant yeah. Blunt, other than I have to I have to add two points of a ship that I know is going to get killed. Yeah, you don't want to lose points. I, and that's the struggle that you're going to have to deal with as a list builder. So it's like, mm -hmm. do you substitute one of these out? And, I mean, you had Netrum. Do you take out Netrum, then you have six points, and then you can take a six-point ship that you'd rather mm -hmm. have? Uh, I mean... What six-point ship would you rather have? You could take probably a U-Wing as a support ship. I know a lot of those are fives and six. Okay, so Saw Gerrera. And see, this is the thing you run into with lists because now all of these are five points each. And so do you, do you want to give another point to your opponent? <laughs> and yeah, let's get Dang. rid of it. So, like, you can't take the so, U-Wing. Right. So, and let's say I want to play Extended. Where I can have K wings. Oh, All right, I'll, right, hold on. Let me switch to extended for you because we'll cover the K wings really quick. Because okay. Robert's well, really no, upset. The only about thing this. I was going to say about this whole thing, the only thing I was going to say about this whole thing, Ugh. I want to take barrage rockets. I'm allowed to take barrage rockets. No, you can't. You can't take those. Yes, you can. No, you can't. There's you don't have one two... pilot. Oh that yeah, one, there's carry. one pilot that can do it. One <laughs> pilot will allow me to carry it. So I have it. a somewhat effective ship <laughs> with one pilot. The other three K-Wings <laughs> that I would like to bring, yeah, hmm. you're done. So, I mean, you could do the three B-Wings, and you could take Essage instead of, uh, which one? You did take Gina Moonsong. I oh, know she's four points, too. All right, so you'd have to either drop Braylon or Tennum to take Essage. So that you could fit barrage rockets, and then, I i mean, I would definitely take a perceptive co-pilot, which that maxes it out at 16. That's it. That's all you get. No Done. bombs. Uh, nothing else. Then you could take three B-wings and Blount. Yeah. And you get your K-wing. with, But that's in extended, not standard. Right. So you don't get that either. And, and if I want to play, you know... Saturday morning, Tuesday yeah. night, Thursday evening, whatever. Oh, geez. And they're playing standard. Oh, Boom. you're done. You can't play. All right. And so, yeah. Um, this is another list I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, this was the list that was in the photo. It just had everything on it. <laughs> um, and I like, so I really want to discuss this when you're list building because, I mean, we're all new to it. We're going to try to overload and fit everything we possibly can on and, you know, maximize our ships. But, I, I mean, it not I love you, you know, mystery list builder. I'm not going to say his name. Um, but he's not the only one. I have seen ion missiles thrown onto the most randomest ships ever. 
and I don't know why. I'm like, are you going to take a target lock with that ship? Well, no. Okay, why do you have on ion missiles then? Well, because I had two two points to spend. Two slots open. I had to take something. I had to take something. So it's like, okay, but that's another card that's going to sit on the table and take up space that you're never going to use. But oh, I might use it, and it's like, okay, so this is one trick that you can do when you're list building. You can do this. Fill out your entire list, take everything under the sun, and say, I want to take all this stuff. Play it. See which ones you recognize that you use and ones that you don't. If you have not used ion missiles in any of your, like, three to four matches, get rid of it. Get it off the table. It's taking up space. It's going to take your uh, your look or your... your <laughs> you're going to read it <laughs> you're gonna seven see times. It. And then you're not going to pay attention to another card. So that's now two points. You can try to take something else. Like, all of a sudden, you're like, oh, I haven't used Brilliant Evasion yet. And even when I did, it didn't, like, save me. It, you yeah. know, it doesn't balance out. So get rid of that as well. All of a sudden, you have, like, three points to spend. And you're like, okay, well, let's see. I did notice that I, I, I'm I, not good at figuring out where I am at range zero to one of these of these things. I think I'll take Compassion. And then you're like, oh, let me go back to Missiles again. Don't. You're next... Put those three points aside. You don't have to fill it to the max. You can take what's effective instead of just loading up your ship with garbage that you never use. You forget about half the time, even though it might be really good. Then you need to practice that you and make sure you remember to use it. Because, again, I used to love the lat gunship with Wolfpack and I think it was Commander Cody. Yes, because it's a great combination to where... Uh, you know, you sit in the back, you're you're capturing objectives with the, the lat. It's zero to three. Oh, hold on, let me go over here so you guys can see it. Um, Wolfpack, uh, after a friendly ship range zero to three defends, if the attacker is in your firing arc, the defender may gain a strain token to acquire a target lock. Or, uh, yeah, to acquire a lock on the attacker. That's a great card, especially if you're a higher initiative ship. You've already shot, and it's like, okay, the defender gains a strain, especially if you're the defender. Because then you can go to uh, fives, is it? Da, da, da. No, one of these does it. Oh, uh, uh, synced, uh, synchronized console. So you then get the target lock. You can then spend it or not spend it on your attack and then hand it off to someone else who needs it. And then you have that throughout your list. And then you've got Commander Cody after you perform attack that missed. So you don't have to spend your target lock. You actually are trying to miss... So with this two attack dice ship, it's not there really for the offense. You shoot, you miss, you then can spend your target lock with synchronized console, hand it to off one of your Jedi, and then Commander Cody allows you to uh, neutralize a hit or a crit, and then the defender gains a strain token. And then you've got fives. If your attack misses and the defender's initiative is equal to or greater than yours, place an evade token on this card, and then before you engage, you may remove an evade token. So this thing and kind of move up the middle with some evade tokens on it as well to help keep its shields healthy. So like, this is great. You can have all these upgrades on these ships. You just got to practice, practice, and practice. And then make sure you're playing with a friend to where they're also trying to help you, but they'll, you know, go slow at first. Work on your triggers. Make sure that you've got it down because that's one thing you're going to just completely screw up. Um, and now... <laughs> We look at Anakin Skywalker. He's got hate, malice, marksmanship, R2C4, synchronized console, and auto blaster. Like, this is a great ship to have on your list as long as you're capable of flying it. It's not going to die. You get all the, the goodies because auto blaster, if you get someone's rear arc and they're in your bullseye, they can't cancel the crit results. You can use malice to change something to a crit, marksmanship to change it to a crit. You can um, spend an evade token to change a focus to a hit so he can, and it can take, take evades if he gets caught and still use it as an attack die. And then again, synchronize console. Um, if, you know, it's kind of like a chain reaction. You can conga line past that target lock to somebody who needs it. Um, like, so like, this is a great list. I really like it, but your table is so overburdened with stuff you might want to lighten your load and build up to it instead of just 
loading everything on and then you forget half your list as you're flying in. So <laughs> like Obi-Wan with Elusive. Great card. I love Elusive. As long as you remember to use it. <laughs> oh, oh just yeah. for your informational purposes, sir. Yes. If I wanted to build a four K wing list in extended. Yes. I'm able to put on. Are you ready? I'm ready. Thermal detonators. Bombardier. Or skilled bombardier. Uh, that's it. Yeah, exactly. You can't take anything else, really. Can't take anything else. And, that's and I clone that four times, and that's what I have. Uh, so, like, you could face it forwards, uh, your arc, and go for that, and then later on start turning it. But, I mean, for action economy, if you're capturing objectives and your arc's the wrong way, your ship is useless. Um, yep. If your bombs aren't where they need to be, they're not that great. And if you need to slam, you're going to drop your cargo. So it's like you have to think about these all when you're building your list. Uh, they're very so, tanky. Very tanky. But if they don't dole out damage, then they're, they're not as tanky as they are needing to right. be. Which that's what barrage rockets was before for them. Yep. Take a focus. As long as it's in your front arc at range of two to three, I can just mow it down. Um, and I can do that five times with my five charges. Now they've mm -hmm. lost that ability. They've lost all the upgrades they used to take because you used to be able to load out four of them. Um, yeah, they can't do that anymore. Well, thank God they still have the E-Wing. <laughs> thank oh, God wait. they have the E-Wing. <laughs> wait. Never do, mind. They do have the E-Wing. That. that is correct. In what? In, in Oh, no. Hold on. I'm going to extend. Let me go back to. Yeah, no, you don't have the E-Wing anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I like the E-Wing. I wish they had it. All yeah, right. I'm sure there's a lot of guys that wish they still had it. True. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was another question. Uh, Mike, he asked uh, a three-ship list. You're uh, going to die. No, I may. I, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Is a three-ship good enough to just straight up try and kill your opponent instead of going for scenarios and... Uh, Aces. Well, so we did cover that. So even not even, well, kind of aces. So like if you take like Boba Fett with um, another solid medium base ship and then another ace. Th yeah, no, that if your objective is to murder your opponent and your opponent yes. has not set up correctly to defend against that, then yeah, that's, they're going to yeah. lose no matter how many objectives that they try yeah, to get. Look, if you're going to build yourself an, you know, an MDK list, go for it have fun yep. just blaze your way through there and watch your opponent go down in a blaze of glory but <laughs> i well so, you know, so highly doable highly exactly. doable well so like with this list i think it could compete against an ace list i just have to figure out what these two ships are going to be i still have six points to spend i have to figure out what i'm going to do with it i still like right. all these upgrades on it i'm going to test it out i didn't have the child at the time i don't like to play because uh, it was an actual live game with actual ships. Um, so right. I did take Maul instead of um, the Child. So I, it changed my loadout just a bit. But I think the Child's great because I did spend Maul's Force frequently when I was shooting. Um, but the Child giving me two Force, at least I can use it on defense if I ever get shot at. But, you know, if they get the target lock. Um, right. I did lose my two named pilots. So, like, again, like, upgrades like Cutthroat are great because if you can't take generics because they're not good enough anymore and you have to take name pilots, then cards like Cutthroat, Hopeful, and, what is it, uh, not Dedicated. What's the, let me look it up. Do, 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 do. Disciplined. Uh, things like Disciplined are absolutely incredible because everything's now a named pilot. So That's an incredible upgrade. It's two points, um, and there are certain ships that take multiple elite talent slots. So I, I'm sorry, like I'm giddy because I can, I can list build yeah. like this all day to where yeah. I can make something that's going to work. I don't mind testing it. And if you guys ever watched Birdo, how many times did he test the list, Robert? God, hundreds. <laughs> ten. You, you well, test yeah, the list ten had, times. He, he had the ten, he had the, the, the ten time rule. Oh, absolutely. And, and I, you might have to do 20 now because there's four different scenarios. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I, I mean, but now, you know, the question you have to ask yourself, are you trying to be world-class player? Are you or, trying to be, um, you know, store-class player? Or are you trying to be beer and pretzels on your tabletop player? 
Exactly. Oh, now now I'm know. doing. Where's my red squad? I want to just have some fun. But yeah, uh, this is. Already... I mean, I don't think there's anything more we can add to what we've said uh, today. But the only the last thing I will add is um, when I used to play card games like Dragon Ball Z and Magic the Gathering. Um, a, a friend of mine yelled at me one time because I would play a game with him, I would lose, and I'd immediately start taking out cards and putting in different ones. And after the third time, he's like, dude, what are you doing? I'm like, the list didn't work the way I wanted. He goes, you haven't played it. You played it once, and now you're shuffling cards out, and now you're trying to do another combination, and you don't know if that works, and you're going to continually shuffle things out, and you're never going to know if that list is competent or not, or what might need to be changed in the long run for it to actually work, instead of just swapping out cards and then seeing, oh, did it win once? Great. It must be great. Um, or did it lose once and it's horrible? So yeah. that's the other thing. When you yeah. play test your list, if you didn't learn something from your match, you're doing it wrong. Right. <laughs> you should be learning something from every single match. It's it's so important to learn something um, or else you're going to get frustrated, either move on to something else, or you're going to commit the same mistakes over and over, which is a huge no. problem. I, I will say... This about X-Wing right now. Mm -hmm. um, I really miss the old 1.0 list building abilities. <laughs> I really, I, I, I'm sorry. Here's your points. This is what you had. I got to look at my cards, hold my cards, do all of that. I, I still love that. The only way I get that now is by playing um, World of Tanks. Oh, I like World. <laughs> See, I like World of Tanks though. Okay. <laughs> It, it's, you know, if you really want, just, you know, I hate to say this, but, you know, dog fighting. It's, it's dog fighting with tanks. Uh, it is. You get, and you get to build a list. And it's fun. Oh, no, I did. Uns Hold on. See, I'm already list building another one because this is yeah, absolutely don't, amazing. Don't, because I can't we, help we it. Don't, we don't want to have an hour and a half show, dude. No, we're not. We're going to wrap it up. I was underslung. Oh, it's because I have Hall of Great on these guys. To go on. I do because I like there was Stop. one more list. No, there was one more list that I wanted to show people because this was a list that I used They'll to take. They'll come up with it themselves. I came oh, up I with that, that 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 B wing list. You did come and up I with that B wing list. Didn't even know that you know it's already the most hated list in X wing. <laughs> okay, son. <laughs> so you could take a Shield of Great and unslung blaster. Oh yeah, so yeah, this was the list. Oh, this guy even has. Uh, do we have people watching us? Oh, yes, we have people watching us. How dare you? How many people we got watching us? I don't know. Oh, this one has phosphorus paint. Okay, so this is the list that I was developing. Um, this was something I flew in second edition to where it was four T-70s, uh, all initiative four, and then I would take one of them as Tem and Wexley so I could do uh, the open the S foils, take a strain to take a calculator, um, and then I w my action would be to target lock, and that was run bare bones. So it was like heroic on each of them. And I think like phosphorus paint on Temin. Now look what I get. I get heroic on all of them, phosphorus paint on all of them, uh, shield upgrade on Temin. And uh, for funds, unslung blaster cannon. I could just put that in my side. If something is in my side arc, I can shoot at it. But that's another option. I don't have to take that. I can eliminate that. And I could just do a nice hull upgrade on each of them and make them uh, eight health ships. So again, I'd have to play test that, but that was that was like the most fun I have ever had playing a, a straight up just four T seventy list. Go, you know, hashtag Go Birdo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're stuck at work. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you stuck at are you stuck watching at work or are you stuck at work watching? That's very important because if you're stuck watching, thank you. Is this Birdo watching us? <laughs> no. <laughs> It's not Berto, it's Lloyd Powell. It says it right there. Uh, See, he's watching it work, too. All right, we'll wrap it up, because I think Robert's done. <laughs> well, it's, it's not so much as that. I'm just trying to think, like, you know, do we have anything to give away today? If we got people watching, why don't we do something? Oh, See, now you put me on the spot. What are you going to give away today? Um, I don't even know how to give away. And I'm used to Twitch. This is the first time I've ever done it here. Oh, hold on. I can do participants. Yeah. All right, we got Cad Bane, Lol, Lol and uh, Lord Jason Nelson. You know, it says that's we, the four we have, right? That was the three. It says, even though it says we have five people watching. Okay, so what are you gonna roll a die? Yeah. What are you giving away? 
Uh, I'm thinking we'll do a set of uh, critical hits. All right. You know, uh, raise your hand in chat if you would like some critical hit tokens. It is a full set of critical hit tokens that describes with uh, you know picture and also text on what crit you have on your ship. So it's a great thing to have because it reminds you of a crit. It's horrible because it reminds you you have a crit. Um, all right, so do roll the die, and then I'll I'll tell you which one. Okay. This is the worst way to do it, by the way. Blank. <laughs> Wait, what did you roll? <laughs> did you roll a world of tanks? No. No, that you oh, need yeah. to roll a six-sided die. That's a D8. <sighs> all right, hold on. This is on, my math guy. You. This is my quant. I'm just kidding. He's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Blankey>. <laughs> All right, I got a D6. All right, you got a D6. All right. Oh, maybe that's the people just chat. You know what? Yeah, give it to the people who are actually chatting. Sorry if you can't okay. chat. Six. Oh, okay. That is Lord Jason Nelson. Oh, Admiral Nelson. All right, Lord Jason. If you message us on Facebook directly or in Discord, he is Robert Monroe. I am Patrick Patrick. You can say, hey, I'm here, I'm here, here's my address. Do not post it in chat, please. Um, yeah. <laughs> and you, we will send you some critical hit something tokens. Something like that. And I will send you a fresh set of critical hit tokens exactly. from Recon Tokens. Yep. Uh, they're a great reminder, especially when you have a crit. Oh, yeah, give it to the guy. Give them to that guy. Which guy? Cad Bane? Who? Lies? Oh, I'll give it to Who? Cad Bane. I don't know. Lloyd, Lloyd, he, Lloyd Powell is he saying, doesn't want our tokens? I guess not. Maybe he already has our tokens. That's a possibility. Oh, wait. Never mind. Lord Jason, Lord Jason Nelson is saying, I want them. Okay. okay. As long as, yes, cool. He Perfect. Excellent, Lord. Wants them. Okay. Yes. I, I, I just wrote that down so I can He remember. does. All right. Message us directly and we'll send you a, a very uh, fresh set. Yeah, if you can right get off the those, press. if you can get me that information like bef in the next couple hours, I could probably even get them out to you today. This out man in the mail. He just sits today. at the desk all day and just. <laughs> all right, mm -hmm. so that's gonna do it. Um, I want to play X Wing this weekend. I really do. Yeah, I know. Maybe I'll play we with can. someone. Who knows? Well, me and you, yeah, or somebody. I don't care. Yeah. Um, and then I'm trying to set up a local tournament at my local store, as well as my friends are trying to start up a league again at our local store. Let's right. hope we can do it. All right. Uh, that'll, be nice. that'll be it should we do all the social media nonsense no we're not going to oh this is we youtube okay in the description below is all our links to everything so i don't have to do yeah. that anymore <laughs> yeah so, but awesome. we do thank you for watching and we yes. appreciate you taking the time out of your day to be with us thank you yeah exactly yeah you can head over to recontokens.com as well uh and then you can look at your new critical tokens and and enjoy them um but i am patrick patrick and I'm Padre. Reminding you to play casual. Yep. C.